everyone. It's always a joy to listen to the devotion shared every day by my fellow alumni through this SV devotional channel. And uh, it gives me a joy to share his word with you all today. Uh, the topic for today's short meditation is magnify the Lord, magnify the Lord. I would like you to see this picture. What's that person really doing? Person is seeing an object through a magnifying lens. So while seeing, does the object changes itself by its size? No. It's our perspective of seeing that object changes, right? That seems to look bigger for us. And just imagine a person sees an object which is far away. I'm sure the object looks small from far away, but it appears to get larger as the person approaches towards it. So it's our perspective altogether, our view of it that really changes and not the object. Similarly, what does it mean to magnify the Lord? When we magnify the Lord, it's our perspective that changes on how we see God. God doesn't change suddenly. He doesn't become big. It's our perspective of how we see him to be a bigger God for us. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the same God, the God of Jacob, Abraham, David, and so on in the Bible. He's the same God even to each and every one of us. We read in Psalm chapter 34, verse 3, O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. David magnifies the Lord and he's calling each and every one of us to magnify the Lord along with him and to exalt his name together. The object which is far away seems to be smaller for us, but once we are face to face with the object, we see it in its full size. That's how we magnify the Lord. We draw near to him. So we see him as a bigger picture, as he is a larger God for us than anyone else, anything else we could face. We draw near to him spending uh, through spending time in his word, time in prayer and time in worship. And in the presence of God, our perspective is changed and we see things more accurately. When we are near God, we can magnify him to others by giving him the glory and praise for who he is in our lives and for what he has done for us in our lives. Many people think that magnifying the Lord is simply praising him alone. And while praise and worship is a part of it, magnifying the Lord comes as a result of getting close to him. When we get close to him, we experience his manifest presence. We obtain revelation and transformation and his glory spills over into every area of our lives when we magnify the Lord. We see God as he is greatly to be praised. When we see God in the correct perspective, we do not doubt his ability or willingness to put us over the top in all aspects of our life. And that produces praise. We magnify God not by making him bigger, than he truly is, but by making him greater in our thoughts, in our affections, and in our memories, and in our expectation, we magnify him by praising him and telling others about his great greatness so that they can become bigger in our lives. I just want to read a few verses from the Bible. One is from Acts chapter 10, verse 46. He read about the Holy Spirit that falls on the Gentiles, 1046. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnified God. And we read in Psalm chapter 69, verse 30. I will praise the name of God with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving. In Luke chapter 1, verse 46, it's a, it's a song of Mary. And Mary said, my soul doth magnify the Lord. And we read in Psalm chapter 35, verse 27, let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteous cause. Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. 
finally, I just want to close with a beautiful verse from the translation, the Passion Translation, which is from James chapter 4, verse 8. Move your heart closer and closer to God, and he will come even more closer to you. What a beautiful verse. Move your heart closer and closer to God, and he will come even more closer to you. Shall we look to the Lord in prayer? Our most gracious Heavenly Father, help us to magnify you in all our lives, Master. Let our perspective of how we see you be big in our lives. Bless us and guide us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone, and God bless you.